Welcome back, Snack Pack, to another awesome episode of American Truck Simulator. Still looking here at a gorgeous little truck, which we haven't bought it just yet. Um, but today, I am actually going to be doing that because we got an email in the last one, if you remember, that the bank will help out with the loans and we can then buy our new truck. So, let's go over to the bank and we can take out we actually need to figure out how much money we need to bring with us essentially so let's go to the truck dealer there should be one around i might actually have to find one nope there it is let's go to visit selected dealer yes i would like to travel there and so the base model is fairly simple um, nothing too huge about it. It actually kind of looks like the other one. Um, but let's see, there are other options. Now you could go with the bigger one. That's the biggest one that you could get the most powerful at the moment. Um, now I do like to have a six by four and I really like the look of that one. Um, not a huge fan of that or that really. So how much is this on 127? thousand dollars okay so we will go ahead and bounce out of here and get back to the bank where's the bank there it is go back to the bank we'll get our hundred thousand yes I realize it's gonna be a huge penalty and then I'm pretty sure we can only take two of these I think oh no we actually can take three okay good so I'll go ahead and get a hundred and thirty thousand dollars which should cover that truck just fantastically let me scoot it over here there it is yes okay now that we got our money handled we can go ahead and pick over here this wonderful looking Kenworth W900 day cab uh, you can technically customize it. Oh no, actually we can't get this one yet. It's only available at level 8. Either way, that's fine too. We can go ahead and get this one. I actually don't mind the satin gray on it. I do... I actually do kind of want to change that. I want it to be... Uh, be white. Oh, the black looks good though. The black's kind of hard to see whenever it gets nighttime. So I do kind of like the lily white Ooh, or the blue. Blue works very nice, actually. I will actually do that. There's a creamy orange. There's a crimson red. Or, and a wine red. There's black. There's metallic blue. Metallic cyan. You can change the metallic color. You can do a custom color. Yeah, I think I'll probably just set it to white because it's the easiest. And it's only 130,000. So we will confirm that. And then we got to go up here to purchase, not stock offer. I forgot. Oh well. Thank you for buying your first truck from us. Yay, we got our first truck. And yes, we know that it can be bought or you have to pay your notes. I forget what the... Ooh, that's a cool looking truck. That's from... Um, European truck simulator I'm pretty sure black horses that is sick I like the flag off the side that's kind of cool Martin Slov Slovakino something oh in our first headquarters yay I forgot that you actually get this once you get your first truck and it basically it, let's see it should tell me kind of like what I get to do um, but basically we run everything out of here. We can hire people. Actually, we can't with this one because we can only park one truck. Um, but eventually we will be able to hire more people and then be able to do a little bit more business. There we go, and then we will pop in here and you will see. We can stop the engine. Hit A and do some resting, which I don't know if I really meant to do, but it's okay. Let's scoot on up here and manage the garage. So yeah, it looks like we, actually, I don't think we can, yeah, truck's in the garage. So we can only put one in here at the moment, I'm pretty sure. 
So far we've only made $5,000, which was from our first job and maybe the second one. Um, and then this is us, of course. You can manage your drivers. You can go to the recruitment agency if you've discovered one. Now that's part of uh, actually driving around. And so like as you go through your different jobs, you can discover all these different places you can and you can actually upgrade this place to get a bigger you get two extra slots so you get those two and then you can hire two more people um the, it is tiny so i think you upgrade to a small i think is what it is uh okay yeah i don't know i think it's a small or it might just be a medium or something <clears throat> and then you get a large one and then you get all the slots open um but you can manage your drivers whenever you hire anybody through the recruitment agency as you find them throughout this entire game. Um, you can manage the truck. So, I mean, you could get, you can hire somebody, but then you also have to buy them a truck and it costs to run the truck. It costs to hire or have them employed. Um, everything is pretty well integrated into this game to where you have to manage a lot of things. So you have to make sure that you're doing all your jobs mainly just so you can make sure everybody's paid uh, and that your company keeps growing and you can increase it more and more. Uh, now in my free game that I've been playing just off and on, um, you, I've, I've only gotten one person. I think the most I've ever had at any one, in any one given game, um, I had two people. Um, now that was kind of fun. It's hard to keep up with two people just because there's a lot of uh, a lot of money management and I usually like to drive around occasionally and sometimes I just didn't want to deal with that so much so I did uh, kind of let that go and then of course I've reset the game since then um, but we will hop out of here and then we should be able to find us a job so this is the only it shows you kind of what roads you've discovered by turning them bright yellow and I'm so glad that they added New Mexico because they did have Arizona, um, Nevada, and California. Whenever the first the game started, it just had California. And then I would say not too long after, a couple months maybe, uh, they added in uh, Nevada. Now Nevada is really, really cool. Um, and then they added in Arizona probably about a year ago maybe? year year and a half maybe and then they just added in new mexico probably in the last couple months i think october ish somewhere in there they added it in um but basically we can manage everything and this shows like we're in a big fancy garage which is not our garage at all um but we can kind of manage everything from there so that's what i'm gonna do for today just wanted to buy a truck Ooh, there's new upgrades uh, so yeah, we can technically change the license plates on the front here, which I may do at, at another time. Not really concerned with it right now because it doesn't affect the truck at all. Uh, those yellow license plates do look hideous, though. I may have to fix that. Um, but I did just want to get in and get a truck because I knew that that will help us be able to do the better, bigger and better jobs. Because if I will go to the job market, now all this is opened up. Now I haven't done any external contracts ever. Um, the quick jobs are mainly for whenever you start or if you just want something quick to do. Uh, but the freight market is where the real money comes in. And this one, you actually have to watch because I'm pretty sure I've got the uh, like heavy hauler mod on or the DLC for the heavy hauler. So like this is 5,500 or 55,000 pounds. Well, if it was 155,000 pounds, I couldn't carry it. And I don't even know if I'd be able to get this one anyways, just because of my weight restrictions at the moment. So stock, truck, some of them can't actually haul the heavier loads. So I'd probably go for the 22,000 just to be on the safe side. And you can see the money has increased. I think the last uh, job that we did in the last episode had like $5,000, five, like five and a half thousand. Um, and this is 8,000 on up to 9,500 and it'll get increasingly more and more as we, uh, as we go through it. Uh, as you can see the skills, I did put that one tick in the high value cargo. So it did increase the loads that we can get. Now, I can increase the distance, but I don't know if I'll do that just yet. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, just getting in and getting our truck. 
Hopefully y'all think it looks nice. If you want me to repaint it or do anything specific to it once I get some more of the, um, the add-ons that you can put on it, then I'll definitely check with y'all. If you want me to change the color, let me know down in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video so far, let me know by leaving a like and hitting the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one.